Oh my god. We have no time for pretty intros because I need to discuss Zelda Breath of the Wild right now. First off, I want to say thank you to Rockstar Wigs for rushing this wig to me very last minute. I literally emailed them the day before I filmed this video like, I need this rushed. And for finding the closest possible color that you guys could have like right off the bat because I know she's more of like a strawberry type blonde in the game of Breath of the Wild this time. But I really, really appreciate it. Also want to give a shout out to Abracadabra in New York who also sent these ears as a rush because I have such tiny ears naturally. I only had small elf ears, not large. So then I had to go on their website, order the ears, and then I didn't see an option for overnight shipping and I was like, Thank you to both companies for being absolutely amazing. I'm going to link both of them in the description below. Please make sure you check them out. I cannot express how much I appreciate you rushing them overnight. And this is why. So what happened was, I got the new Nintendo Switch. Yay! And I'm playing the new Zelda Breath of the Wild, right? I didn't stop playing it, and then I realized I wanted to film these characters and didn't order anything. Thank God I paint my clothes on, because I never would have got a costume. I put in over 20 hours into that game in a matter of three days, and I still have not reached Rito Village, which I guess gives you no real idea of where I am in the game, because you can play the game however you want, take whatever kind of quest things that you want. I've probably gotten maybe like 20 shrines. I also found this dragon. Anyways, if you guys are playing Breath of the Wild, please let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you got a Switch, because I got my Switch, I've been loving it so far. No problems whatsoever, I actually think it's one of the best systems that Nintendo has come out with in a very long time. And to be honest, I actually could talk about this game for probably the next hour, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys, and I'm not gonna sit here dressed as Zelda talking about Zelda for the next hour. I mean, I could though. Anyways, all the products I use take me listed somewhere around the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below if you're playing this game. I'm being serious. Follow me on Twitter. We'll have discussions. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'm starting off by applying primer to my face and being unable to open my concealer. Typically, concealer goes on after foundation, but I prefer to do it this way. I'm then also heavily applying my foundation since I wanted to look more like a video game character as opposed to real life. Go ahead and powder that with translucent powder and set it with setting spray. I'm then going to fill in my eyebrows slightly thicker than normal, slightly thicker. It felt like I was doing them a lot thicker at the time. Apply eye primer. And then just applying a very light shade to my lids. And although Zelda doesn't really have much makeup going on, I'm also going to apply a very light brown to the crease. Go ahead and line the top of your eye using brown eyeliner and also apply brown mascara to make my eyes slightly larger since they are very cat shaped. I'm applying a very light eyeliner to my waterline. Also bringing that eyeliner down onto the bottom third. In this game, Zelda does have some pretty corally looking cheeks, so I'm applying a decent amount of blush, as well as a very light lipstick. To begin on the clothes, I'm using an eyebrow marker and just sketching out generally where everything is going to be, that way my colors don't overlap too bad. I'm then filling in the center section as well as the collar and the outer two little tiny sections using white body paint. Using Dijon body paint, I'm then outlining what would be around her gold type collar slash design. To begin on the quilted pattern on her top, I'm sure it's not called quilted when it's on a top. I honestly really should learn like tailor terminology because every time I do clothes, I have a failure to try to describe what I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. Anyways, I'm using gray eyeshadow to outline that pattern and then using a lighter gray eyeshadow to create a shadow underneath that. When it comes to doing stuff like this, especially on white, it's mostly about using different shades of gray as well as blending, very heavily blending. Patience and layering color. And of course, having the right brushes really helps when it comes to shading. So far in the game, I've only unlocked one memory of Zelda, and that is it. 
I think there's like 19. I actually ended up just ditching the memories for now and going over to the beasts I gotta find because I could just not be bothered with trying to find all those memories right off the bat. And honestly, when I first started playing the game, I didn't know if I was actually gonna continue playing it because I thought that it was a very like slow paced game, which I guess it kind of is. But now that I've been playing it, like I cannot put it down. I'm completely addicted to it. It's almost an issue. I know people have been asking me, is it actually what people are hyping it up to be? Yeah, it definitely is. Like there's so much to this game that it's just like incredible. Along the underside of all the shading, you're also going to add a little white stripe for a highlight. To create shading along the gold trim, I'm using brown eyeshadow along the edges. We're mainly doing this to show that this is sitting on top of that white shirt. But to really create that illusion, I'm using a light gray, medium gray, dark gray, and black, and just layering those colors in the corners where the white shirt meets the gold. I also started to fill in the side straps using Dijon knowing that these were going to rub off once I applied the blue body paint only when you're doing it to yourself. I then applied the worst looking blue I've ever used in my life, threw that out and applied a much better blue on top of that. Using more of a teal color I then added some shadows to the top. And finally just added a little bit of black shading underneath the gold. This is the wig that I use, which I will list in the description below. And just pin back the wig, that way I can apply my ears using a little bit of spirit gum. You can also use Prozade. And honestly, I had little to no concern whatsoever about blending or making sure that the color matched because I'm going to have my hair covering the edges anyways. 